Hello, welcome to Daily News from Marjaya TV. Daily meetings of the Grand Juris Ayatollah Shirazi in Holy Kom. The Grand Chia Juris Ayatollah Sayyid Sadr Hussein Shirazi hosts groups of visitors on a daily basis at his central office in the holy city of Qom in Iran. In these meetings, religious scholars, clerics, activists, academics, and public groups of Shia believers meet with the Grand Juris in person and listen to pieces of advices by his eminence. It is worth noting that these meetings are held on a daily basis before the known prayers. Office of Grand Ayatollah Shirazi holds weekly gatherings in Holy Najaf. The Office of Grand Shia Juris Ayatollah Shirazi in Holy Najaf held another run of its weekly gatherings over the past few days. These religious gatherings are attended by various groups of scholars, clerics, activists, and the public. Members of Shia Societies Association meet religious activists from Iraq. On Wednesday, December 18, 2019, some members of Shia Societies Association hosted Haji Akil Turki, the director of Mawakib in Nasiriya city of Iraq. This meeting, which took place in the holy city of Qom in Iran, was followed by meetings with the Grand Juris Ayatollah Shirazi and his respected son Sayyid Hussein Shirazi. Ahlul Bayt Islamic Thought Center honors martyrdom of Lady Fatima Zahra. Ahlul Bayt Islamic Thought Center, dependent on the office of the Grand Shia Juris Ayatollah Shirazi in Baghdad, commemorated the martyrdom anniversary of Lady Fatima Zahra, peace be upon her, in the Iraqi capital. These commemorations were attended by various groups of clerics and eulogizers of Ahlul Bayt, peace be upon them. Imam Hassan Zaki School hosts Poetry Festival in honor of Iraqi martyrs. Imam Hassan Zaki Hosseiniya and school affiliated to the office of the Grand Shia Juras Ayatollah Shirazi in Baghdad organized a festival for local poems in honor of the Iraqi martyred soldiers. Mr. Hosseini, the director of this Hosseiniya and school, delivered some pieces of advices of the Grand Juras to the participants during his speech. 